Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. And today, if you can't tell, I've got a bunch of boxes here and cases from Subcase. So I've done some reviews in the past, some unboxings of Subcase cases for the Samsung S20 Ultra. And this time, I'm back with some for the Note 20 Ultra. Now, Subcase, I do have to thank them for sending all these over to the channel for an unboxing and, you know, kind of a first look. They're gracious enough to send me seven cases. So what we're going to do is go through and I'll do a fitment test on one of each of these cases um, because otherwise I'll just need to be here for two hours putting all these on. But uh, what I did get is the Unicorn Beetle, which is a slimmer case, and then we got the Unicorn Beetle Pro, which is the thicker, bigger case, is more like the, along the lines of the OtterBox Defender where it has a holster and all of that. And then this is more of kind of like a slimmer protection. So what we'll do, we'll take a look at this pretty uh, quickly. And I'll do some fitment tests of each on the phone. And then I'll unbox and show you all the different ones, right? So kind of keep the on and off of the phone to a minimum, but also show you all, all of what, what is here. So as I mentioned, this is a Unicorn Beetle. And this is a fairly popular line of cases from, from Subcase because while they are uh, pretty slim, they are pretty protective. So this is very similar to the style that they had for the, the S20, except obviously now this is for the, the Note 20. But the way this works is it is a two-part case. You have a front plastic piece that fits on the front of the phone and snaps into the back piece of this. And it is a TPU material. So you do have a clear plastic back and this has kind of a exoskeleton type look here. A little bit of even a carbon fiber look on the side of the black one. So the side here, the tops, the bottoms, all have this kind of carbon look. Obviously it's not carbon fiber, it's just plastic that looks like that um, but you know pretty pretty decent I, I do like it so I do have my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra white D brand skin on there so the way this works is you snap on the front piece and then you stick it into the case right so it's a little bit tough to get in there because this rubber kind of goes over the plastic so it kind of encases it and you kind of got to kind of wrangle it in and snap it in but it's not i mean it's obviously not too hard um, but it does give you a nice bit of protection on the phone and they give you a little bit of a gap on the front corner down here so that you can actually pull it off as you can see adds quite a bit of depth on the bottom from a protection standpoint this is kind of deep it's pretty big so it should fit uh, most charging usb-c connections at the bottom but you do have you know, your recess for your S Pen that you can pop out. You do have kind of protection around the camera module that comes up a little bit higher than the module itself. So it should protect um, the glass elements there if you're putting it down on things. Positive feeling switches on the sides. All the cutouts are good, like I mentioned. And it really gives you a full, full coverage, you know, to your phone. Nice lip on the front, top and bottom. Should work well with you know, wireless charging cases and all that because there's really no thickness there that would cause any issues. But overall, pretty decent fitment and look if you like this kind of black exoskeleton look. So that pretty much covers the black case. Now also in the same Unicorn Beetle case lineup we have a exoskeleton red version so as you can see it's basically the exact same construction the exact same setup except this one has uh, the same color red kind of on the sides and the front plastic piece and like I said I'm not gonna put all these on the phone because just the on and off is gonna take forever but that's uh, Pretty cool, nice looking red. And then we also have 
a blue version. So now the blue version is basically the same, right? Same construction, same material. Uh, the side does have that kind of carbon fiber look. Same thing goes with the red one. I didn't show that, but they both have that kind of carbon fiber pattern on the side plastic piece. The only difference here on the blue is that the front of the blue, the, black, uh, the plastic ring is a little bit of a lighter blue color. If You can see that. So it's a two-tone, right? So the, the frame is one lighter color, the back and the rest is a little bit of a darker blue. But, you know, overall, very nice looking as well. So that sums up the exoskeleton thinner cases. All right, so you got the blue, the red, and the black. I personally would use the black one or the blue one. This one kind of matches the TS for Tech color scheme. So I do like that, and that's pretty cool. So now I'm gonna hop over to the Unicorn Beetle Pro. The Unicorn Beetle Pros, if you haven't seen, are more like the Defender series in OtterBox in that they're pretty robust cases with a belt clip and a lot of protection. So as you can see, this is a pretty beefy case. I mean, compared to the stock phone. I mean, this, the whole contraption is, is pretty big. What's really kind of cool about it is it gives you definitely multiple layers of protection here. Now, these cases do not come with a front plastic or a front glass cover for the phone, a screen protector. It is basically just the, you know, the case itself, the kind of robust two-piece case. So you do have that same kind of front frame on the other Unicorn cases that snaps in. So this is this plastic, sorry, it's out of focus there. So this plastic frame on the front, and then you have kind of a multi-material back piece because it's a combination of softer TPU on the sides and around the edges, and a plastic, harder plastic back that includes a kickstand. So as you can see, there's a kickstand built in to the back plastic piece of the case so you can snap that in place, you can tilt the phone, lay the phone this way, you can, I don't know if it'll stand up, yeah, yeah, it'll probably stand up this way as well, we'll test that in a second. So you have the multi-angle kickstand that's built right in, doesn't take up any additional space because it's actually built into the case. So to put this on, it's very similar to the other one where you just kind of snap the front piece in first. So this does not appear to interfere with the screen protector either, so that's good. And then you just really just kind of massage this thing in there because the TPU has to kind of come over the top and hook over that plastic. Kind of forms a little bit of a seal, I guess you could say, along this edge. There's a, kind of like a little way to clip it in there. So it definitely gives you know, some, some really good protection to your phone. You have a bit of a recessed camera module protection there, so laying this flat is not gonna expose the camera module to, the, to potentially hitting a table or flat surface. Like I said, you have the kickstand or the st stand there. And overall, just a very robust case. Pretty big lip on the top and bottom on the front. And it's pretty sturdy once you have it all put together. It feels you know, solid, pretty good. Okay, the sides here, a little bit of a texture. So if you're grabbing it out of your pocket or out of your purse or anything like that, you'll have a little bit of retention there. There's the corners at the top are a little bit bumped out, a little bit added protection on the corners. And this one does have a port cover on the bottom for the USB-C. So that may or may not be a problem if you don't like this. You can probably clip it off with an X-Acto knife if you don't want to have that covered up. But it's always nice, I guess, to keep anything out of the USB-C port. You have it covered. Cutouts, S Pen, you can get to pretty easily. The buttons here are pretty good as well. They feel pretty positive. 
Now these do have uh, like a piece of, pl I think, plastic that goes in and then actually touches the actual button because the case is so uh, wide on the side. Uh, so do keep that in mind that there is a button built into the case that pushes the button on the phone. Yeah, so overall this is pretty nice. So then you get this holster, which has a 360 degree, oh, geez, it's kind of hard to turn, but 360 degree swivel on the back with a clip that you can then clip on a belt, a sun visor, a purse strap. I mean, you can clip this pretty much in a bunch of different areas, I guess. Uh, you can clip it to your bag, you can clip it to your briefcase. If you have kind of a, a shoulder strung briefcase, maybe some of them have like a pocket, you can clip it in the pocket. So a bunch of different things you could do from that perspective. And, and then, then the phone just snaps in. So you could snap it in a couple different ways, I suppose. Snap it in that way. So the camera module bump is facing up and the buttons are facing up. You could put it in this way, facing down. It really doesn't matter. Obviously can fit both ways. So that's that. And this is just a hard plastic, kind of a cool design on it. A little bit of foam padding here on the inside. Uh, I don't know, really know why that's there because the phone face won't touch the plastic. So uh, if it's just a design thing or what, but it's that. And then as I mentioned, kickstand. You can put it like that. You could put it like this. You could put it like that. A little less, it's a little less stable like this, but I mean, it could sit that way. So, so really you have, you know, multiple ways to kind of put this thing. Yeah. So multiple ways you can use the kickstand, which is nice. And it is pretty sturdy again, once it locks kind of locks in place and then you could slide it down. So I, I do like this case, this one. I mean, I would probably use this without the, without this piece, similar to the OtterBox Defender in the past when I've reviewed that on my other phones. I never would use this, but the case itself was always really pretty sturdy and just like the protection that it gave the phone. So this, this one definitely I, I do like. Very well made. So we'll just take again a couple quick looks at the other colors in this case lineup. Just so you can get a sense for it. This is a purple. And the colors are a, basically a two-tone. So you have here this kind of purple metallic plastic on the front side, the back is also this kind of purple metallic. So that's pretty cool color. Case or the, uh, the holster clip is all black, I believe in all of these. So it's really just the case, two-tone case difference. You can see there, it's a little bit like a carbon fiber look. So that's purple. And then we have a red. So we have a, again, like a two-tone red here. It's like a metallic red. It's got an iridescent sort of shine to it. So it's not just like a flat red. And same thing. It's got a red inner plastic piece for the front. Same build, same layout, same material, and that's what that looks like. And the final color is what they're calling a Ghoul Dawn. I don't know, it's at least what it says here, but it's kind of a green. I'd say this is kind of like an army green kind of green, and it does also have a little bit, a little bit of a metallic 
to it. Not as much as the red or the purple. Hope you can see that. This is cool. I like this color. So same thing with the with the green. So definitely definitely looks pretty cool as well. So again, just a summary here, green, red, purple, black. All very good choices if you're looking for that extra level of protection for your phone. I mean, these phones are getting so expensive that you really kind of want to ensure that if you do mishandle it or drop it, that it is protected. So I will link to these in the description of the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I will have to say that 90 something percent of the views I get on my videos are from non-subscribers. So if you're one of those people that aren't subscribed to the channel and you made it to this part of the video, I'd super appreciate a thumbs up at the at the minimal or just subscribe. I, I do lots of cool tech videos on phone cases and electronic type stuff and tech things as much as I can do as a small channel. I'm not, uh, I don't have the level of sponsorship and support that some of these large channels get yet. And I hope to get there someday. So, you know, uh, subscribe, please. It would, I would super appreciate it. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.